Hello from Bug Eye Guy. This is a Bug Eye we call Cherry. A nice driver car with a dog on board. That's Bodie. And let me give you a quick tour of this. We'll walk around and take a look. This is a car that's perfect for somebody who's really not cosmetically picky. There are a few little issues in the paint. There's a little cluster of blisters here. And of course, this is great for those of you who already have a Bug Eye, just as a reminder. If you fill these on a hot day and park it in the sun, this is what you can get. It's a vented cap, and it will run out of this cap and trash the paint, as you see here. So you have to be mindful of that. But this is a straight car. The rear deck is in nice shape. So, you know, again, this is a car maybe somebody would want to repaint. Perhaps there are those of you out there looking for a driver that you don't have to worry about. And this fits both bills. It's not a high caliber fully restored car i see there's a little crack in the paint there it's pretty subtle and there are a few little imperfections in the paint this is a fiberglass hood and it's a nice one it looks good the beading is there and looks nice and the beading on the back deck is nice but remember all these sprites have been through the war and back again so you know even a fully restored car comes with its warts and challenges and this one is no exception the biggest issue on this one is the rust right here at the bottom of the A-pillar. This is a common challenge area. Water perhaps gets in through and around the windshield and runs down in here, but most sprites will have a little bit of blistering here on this section. Fortunately, it's a pretty easy place to patch because it's a flat uh, panel, a square flat rectangular panel, whatever you need. You cut this out, weld in a new panel, and a little bit of filler and primer and you're good to go. So again, depending on your capabilities, this is not that difficult to address. The rocker seems to be in good shape. It has uh, these little twist fittings for the nose, which is nice and it's a flip forward nose. So that's now locked. So, you know, again, if you're looking for a car at a lower price, this is a good one. The chrome is pretty well finished. Uh, we might be able to bring this back to a higher level by using bronze wool, if you've ever done that. And same with this grill. This might be an original grill. It's in nice shape. A lot of times when these get really bad, they're all rumpled in the mesh. But this is definitely um, the bigger challenge is once all this is clean, it's definitely an older grill, and it's starting to pull the pin here. So there's a little imperfection there but I think we can get this surface to look quite a bit better if that mattered. If it's somebody who wants to restore a car, this would be a good candidate. The nose fits pretty well. Um, I think we could shim this better here to get a little bit better alignment. But again, if you're a body shop wanting to repaint a car, this would be a good one. I see another issue, which is the door fit here. This is needs to be brought out a little bit and also, of course, bent slightly, which is not all that difficult to do to make this more flush here. But again, that's all part of the unique character of this particular car, more of a driver. The tires are also shot. They're very old or old. They're expired. And the rear bumpers, the chrome also could probably, I think these will make it. Normally these get dented, but these are just pitted. And again, bronze wool would help with that. We have a little bit of marking here from a hard top and a tonneau when it's on the car will hide most of that. Again, not perfect. The seats are fine. The interior is in nice shape. I happen to love this particular wheel. Uh, it's a nice wheel. And then we have all the right stuff here. Again, a different locking choke from a later MGB or something. And some that's your correct original wiper, heater, knob, starter turn signals, choke, washer pump, certainly in fine shape. Seats are good, there's a tonneau here, no carpet in the back other than the center section, so that's an opportunity. The car presents nicely, it's got a pretty good shine, and I like these ray dot mirrors in the windshield pil pillar, that's kind of a nice way to go. And then there's a top bow here, but again, a lot of times these cars have been hit in the back, so the rear decks are really rumply, and this one is nice and straight. So let's go for a drive.
clean, so you see me cheating with the choke a little bit. temperature comes up a little it starts to come to life it's a little bit lean when cold so that's where I'm using the choke to richen things a little bit up and get and, and get some uh, more power front disc brake car and it has the later dual piston rear wheel cylinders which is great we just replaced them and replaced the master and the slave but we did not put in the e-brake rods yet hence this problem and I forgot about that we had to cut and weld those e-brake rods to make it right and that's something that's in progress lights work, side lights, headlights, and the high beam indicator, which often doesn't work. It is working here. Horn works. There's the high beams and the low beams. We're good. That's another bug eye here. <laughs> 